from our leakage radiation, our broadcast, television, and radio, you can tell some amazing things about the planet and the technological species that occupy it. Uh, you can certainly get the length of our day. You can get an estimate of the size of the planet. You can even deduce that we don't have any kind of global governance. That's because in every region of the planet, television stations and radio stations are assigned frequencies that are specific to uh, the different international telecommunications union regions around the globe. And those frequencies are similar, but not exactly the same. So if you were getting the broadcast transmission leakage from this planet, as our planet rotates, and another region comes into view on the horizon, you'd see that those transmission frequencies shift a little. And 24 hours, they're back to that same pattern. And you would probably deduce that uh, the whole planet was not operating as a single geopolitical unit. So um, we talked a little about, we, and we often think about, what's going to happen if we detect a signal. And certainly the SETI Institute is part of a, a group of scientists who are working on the project who have said, well, you know, if we detect a signal, we're certainly going to tell the world, but we're not going to transmit back until there's been some global consensus that we should, and then, you know, we figure out who should speak for Earth, and what should we say. And that's all great. Um, really hard to understand how we'll do it. And at the same time, um, if you announce that you've detected a signal and you give the nature of the signal, you let other people know what you've found, then it's human nature. Anyone who can have access to some kind of a transmitter is going to use it. And they're going to say whatever it is that they want to say whatever we might want uh, to have in terms of this high-minded intellectual response. And Freeman Dyson, a physicist in Princeton at the Institute for Advanced Studies, Freeman kind of chuckles every time we get into this topic. And he said, you know, think about it. That unorchestrated, chaotic cacophony that would emit from the planet after the detection of a signal. He said, wouldn't that be about the best representation of 21st century Earth that you could imagine? And I have to agree that he's, he's right. Nevertheless, scientists that we are, we try and plan for that. And there's, there's um, a piece of our website at the SETI Institute, at SETI.org, um, a project called Earth Speaks. And one of our um, scientists is trying to get people, particularly young people, to tell us what message they'd like to send if we were going to send a message to another technological civilization. And what he's looking for are cultural universals, the kinds of ideas that come from every society uh, around the planet. and. It's a way to try and see what, at the core, it is to be human and what we'd like the rest of the universe to know about us. Mm -hmm.